All right, second grade. Today's math lesson is 11-1, subtract 10 and 100. And our objective is I can subtract 10 or 100 mentally using what I know about place value. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the place value of each number to figure out how to subtract. And we've already done all these addition strategies with hundreds numbers. We're going to do the same strategies, this time with subtracting hundreds numbers. Last chapter was about adding, and now we're subtracting hundreds numbers. So our friend here is saying that there are 456 ears of corn growing in a field. How many will be left if 10 ears are harvested? And how many will be left if 100 ears are harvested? And how can you use mental math to find your answers? So what do we know about place value? Well, we know that the first number here, that 4, that's 100. That's the hundreds value, so that's 400. That second number, 5, that's 50. And the last number is the 1s, so it's just 6. Now, the first question wants to know what happens if we subtract 10. And what we know about place value is that all you have to do is subtract the digit that falls under that place value. So if we're going to subtract 10, we're really subtracting 5 minus 1. Because what's in the tens place of 456? Right, the number 5. Did we do anything to the 400 or the 6? We did not. Because we're only subtracting 10, so there's nothing happening to the, the hundreds place, and there's a 0 in the ones place, so the 6 gets left alone. So we have 400, 40, 6. Sorry, I'm writing on my tablet, so it's uh, going to look a little messy. But let's take a look at the second question, 456 minus 100. What place value are we dealing with for the second question? We're dealing with the hundreds because now we are actually having a number with triple digits. And let's see, there's a 0 in the 1's place, there's a 0 in the 10's place, so the 5 and the 6 are going to carry over. We're going to keep those. But now we have a number in the ones in the 100's place, and it's the number 1. And what's the 100's place of, the, of 456? That's right, the number 4. So we're really just doing 4 minus 1. That equals 3. So you just look at what's in the place value. We're only dealing with 10 and 100 in this lesson. You just look at what is in the place value that we're subtracting, and you can just go down by 1. You can use mental math to subtract 10 or 100 from three-digit numbers. Subtracting 10 makes the tens digits go down by 1. This is what I was talking about earlier. We know that 2 minus 1 equals 1, so 328 minus 10 equals 318, because you're only subtracting it as far as the tens place. Subtracting 100 makes the hundreds digit go down by 1, and we know that 3 minus 1 equals 2, so 328 minus 100 equals 228. You didn't do anything to the tens or ones because there was no, because there was just a zero in those numbers. Sometimes subtracting 10 changes the tens and hundreds digits. So in 500 minus 10, well, we know that 500 equals 50 tens, and if we take away one of those tens, it's going to equal 49 tens or 490. So 500 minus 10 equals 490. 
Okay, let's look at guided practice. I'm going to bring my toolbar down. And in number one, it looks like we have 214, right? That's what the place value blocks tell us. 200s, 110, 110. And four ones. Okay. And we're only subtracting 10 and 100. So this is what they're asking you to do when it says minus 10 and minus 100 like that. You're going to figure out what the place value or what the number is using the place value blocks and then subtract 10 and then 100. And in this number, we know that. We have a 1 in the 1 in the tens place and we're only subtracting a 10, so that gives us 204. But in the second one, we have a 2 in the hundreds place and a 1 in the other in the hundreds place because we're subtracting 100 and we end up with 114. In number two, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. We have two tens. And we have one, two, three, four, five ones. So our number is 525. We're going to subtract 10 the first time. And we're going to subtract 100 the second time. Am I touching, for the subtracting 10, am I touching the hundreds or the ones place value? No. So those can stay, 500 and 500. And in the middle, in the tens place value, am I subtracting anything? Yes, I'm subtracting 1 from the number 2, so that's 2 minus 1. That gives me 1, that's 515. In the second question, am I subtracting uh, I'm subtracting 525 minus 100. Am I subtracting anything in the ones place value? No, so that five gets to stay. Am I subtracting anything in the tens place value? Also no, so that two gets to stay. But what about in the hundreds place value? I have a one right there and a five right there. So that's really five minus one, and that equals four. See how I just counted backwards by 1 when I subtracted 100 from 500 or when I subtracted 10 from 525? You're going to do the same thing for 3 and 4 and then for the rest of independent practice. Okay, that's all for this lesson.